800 years ago when that tree was just a bud. Our Creator knew what was going to happen to that tree, who was going to be around when it was time to carve it. And the people that is working on the pole now were selected. It was preordained before contact even. Preordained, chosen, selected by the Creator. Powerful words to describe a cedar tree, but words that capture the reverence of these West Coast artists as they carve this tree, creating a totem pole that when it's done, will symbolize the revitalization of Indigenous languages. It's not just a pole, it's a monument because we had lost everything. And the language was one of the things that we could call our own. But this pole, this cedar, had its own story to tell. A story that shaped those who worked on it even as their hands shaped its face. Decades ago, it fell, hitting the earth so hard it was broken by the impact. It lay hidden, waiting for the day it would be revealed. And when that day came, even though four different trees had been identified as possibilities for this project, bad weather had made all but this broken tree inaccessible. Some members of the group turned away, unwilling to work on a damaged trunk, when they were reminded that this too was a gift from the Creator, a gift that carried its own story of brokenness and hope. That cedar, intended for us to pull together, not only as artists, but as a community to, uh, to repair and, uh, and, and look at what people, you know, may always talk about for years to come, reconciliation. You know? It's no easy task to repair a tree or a community. And even as the pole was being strengthened, there were other challenges, financial shortfalls, personal crises, but somehow the pole kept crying out to be heard, drawing people in, insisting that what was broken needed to be mended. I had this army of conscripts working from the community and they just started to work. That's what it ran on. It was like integrity or honor, respect. So it transformed all of us and it transforming our community and the people of Port Alberni to look at things differently. There's still work to be done on the pole before it's fully awake, but the message it's waited so long to bring is already being heard. And because so many hands have worked on it, the artist's story, a story of respect and equality and humility, has taken on an even deeper significance. We look at our ten relatives, you know, from the sky, the, uh, the moon, the stars, the sun, you, uh, the wind, the mountain, you, the rivers and the lakes, you, the land, the sea, the eleventh being the earthquake. We'll uh, tend to remind you and I, you, uh, how very, very small we are in this universe, in this world. We're taking some power back, albeit um, benign power as the world understands it, but we're making a, a statement about who we were to ourselves. You know, that cedar, you know, has become part of what we had to repair. We're all growing together at the same rate and starting over. Despite all that we went through, the Creator is still taking care of us by the tenderness that He took with that 800-year-old tree.